Sonia, tell me about your journey. My journey has been an amazing journey. One that I'm very proud of and one that I'm still on as well. Five years ago, I graduated from Queen Mary University and I was at a crossroad where I didn't know whether to continue with law or to venture into something else, which was a passion of mine. I wanted to work with young people, but I wasn't sure how that was going to happen. So I had to make a decision whether I was going to live my life on purpose or just to continue with what I was already studying because that's what I had already started. So I made the decision that I was going to live my life on purpose, that I was going to venture into this new path and just see where, where what would happen, what, what would become of it. So when I made that decision, I started to work with um, young people in a youth club. I then went on to work in my old secondary school as a learning support assistant. I then started to follow around different motivational speakers just to see how they were empowering young people. And along that journey, I realised that this is what I want to do. However, even though I realised this is what I wanted to do, I didn't have the confidence to do it. I would sit and I would attend different events and seminars and hear people speaking and, and, and empowering, but they wasn't doing it at the level that I, I knew that I could do it at or with the, the, the delivery style that I would use. But I was too scared. I didn't have the confidence. I didn't believe in myself. I didn't even think that I could talk longer than five minutes. So I had these negative movies in my head where I would envision myself standing there Talk, talk for about two minutes and then have nothing to say and then people would just be looking at me and people <laughs> and, and, and I would just be looking at people so I then kind of had that, that negative negative story in my head that I just couldn't couldn't get out so I, for, for, for a, a few months I, I struggled with the fact that I wanted to do motivational speaking but I just wasn't confident to do it until one day I literally said enough is enough this is what I want to do, this is what I know that I'm good at, just get over yourself, Satanya. I literally had to say, just get over yourself. And when I realised that I was my biggest obstacle to achieving and doing what I wanted to do, I then pushed myself to take the next opportunity that came my way to present. So, you know, somebody then approached me and said, you know, we think you'd be great at presenting a show, would you do it? In my head, I was saying, no, 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 I wouldn't be good, I'm not good, I don't know how to do it, I don't know how to talk. But out of my mouth came the words, yes. <laughs> yes, of course I will do it. Um, and, and, you know, I was shaking, I was scared, I couldn't believe what I was saying. But that was the best decision I ever have made in regards to my journey to today. That day, I, I then went back home. I then realised I'd committed to being a part of somebody's event. And I didn't really think about it. And, and what I've realised is that if I don't think too much, <laughs> then I will be OK. Because um, I realised that when I used to think too much, that's what kept me you know, stagnant and not moving and not doing what I wanted to do. So when the event came, I took the opportunity, I, I co-hosted, I presented, and to my surprise, I was good, <laughs> okay? I wasn't the best, I wasn't great, I had so much more to learn, but what I had achieved that day was something that a lot of people will never get to experience. It's, it's freedom. It's freedom from negativity, it's freedom from your own doubt, it's freedom from fear, it's freedom from excuses. and. Because I allowed myself to be free, now today I am an award-winning motivational speaker, I'm an award-winning author, I'm an award-winning entrepreneur. Every year I get nominated for something. Every month I speak at a different event, at a different school, at a different organisation, simply because I freed myself from my own negativity. Tell me about someone who has been influential in your life. Okay. I would say... the. Someone that's been influential in my life um, has to be Bishop Ray Malcolm, simply because everything that I am today is a product of the teachings um, that I received over the last 10, 10, 10 to 15 years that I, I was a member at CLC. So he's a person that introduced personal development to me um, and to my family as well. And, you know, he, he has books 
key speakers um, to the church, people like Les Brown, Brian Tracy, some of the grandfathers within personal development that we've been able to hear from and be taught by as well. So he's really, really, really had a significant role in my life. Um, and he, he has been a, the, the sort of encouragement that says you can do it, you can be it. And he's shown us how. He's gone out, he's, he's made it happen, and then he always comes back and shows us how we can be successful as well. So I would say we should be they say that fear is false evidence appearing real, but somehow I had allowed that fear to keep me bound. So the day I said yes was the day I started this amazing journey that I'm on. And it's, and it's an amazing journey because I can now encourage others to not allow fear to stop them, to not allow self-doubt to stop them, but to simply become a yes person when they want to say no, but to simply say yes and to to step back and, and to see what comes forth from saying yes. I can truly say that the journey that has unfolded through me saying yes is a journey that I never ever could have imagined or even wished for. But because I said yes, I have now released my potential and now I'm showing others how to release this.